Speaking of St. John to Captain Corey. St. John to Corey, come back. St. John, I've just spoken with the Colonel. He's assigned you to the research division? Captain, uh, research division, or, uh, yeah, I guess you would call it that. Uh, I'm helping Lieutenant Weaver and Those Lieutenant Whitaker. Oh, what are they called? Good. They can use all the help you can offer. I don't know how much help I'm going to be and just sort of their errand boy for now. And actually, that's why I radioed in. Lieutenant Whitaker gave me a requisition form that says yeast. Yeast? Hold a second. We have patrols making supply runs throughout the region. When they come across anything of potential value, they note it down. Yes. Here. The yeast and other baking supplies were noted in the kitchen area of the Crater Lake Visitors Center. You know where that is? Yeah, I could find it. Good luck, Corporal. Curry out. What do you need? You got something to say about it? Lieutenant. <laughs> nah, man. Leave that shit by the door. No, 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 no. I mean all that army shit. Oh. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I think that's what you were looking for. All right. Yeah. yeah this is great. Hey, just wait a second. Here. Polystyrene. Yeah, you know, like white foam coffee cups, packing peanuts, shit like that. Yeah, got it. Hey, man. By the way, how did it go with the Wizard Island Witch? You mean Lieutenant Whitaker? <sighs> man, I thought you were going to leave all that shit by the door. That'll be all, Corporal. That'll be all. Society had a small office and a dog pen outside of sisters. Had maybe a hundred dogs. Strays mostly. A few had owners who would show up eventually. One of the guys St. John! <laughs> uh, Wayne Taylor to Deacon St. John. <sighs> Taylor, uh, I hear a bike. Tell me you're not out in the shit truck down that truck truck. Okay, okay. <laughs> I won't tell you that. But I am. <laughs> God damn it, Taylor, you're gonna get yourself killed. <laughs> no, man, no, no. Hey, I followed a bunch of them up the highway. Highway 97? <laughs> Hey, hey, it was, no, it was, it was daylight. <laughs> Is it visitor's center? That's gotta be it. <sighs> no, I just gotta find some yeast. Kitchen, yeah. Well, that's gotta be in the kitchen. Oh, shit. 
Breakers. <laughs> Had to be breakers. That couldn't be fucking easy, could it? St. John to uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, reporting in. Deacon, uh, <clears throat> Corporal St. John, yes. I, uh, got the item on your requisition form, the yeast. There wasn't much. I I'm sure that whatever you have is gonna be fine. So, um, just curious, uh, why do you need... Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something I gotta go. I'll talk to you when you bring it in. Whitaker, out. St. John! Uh, Wade Taylor to Deacon St. John. <laughs> Taylor, I hear a bike. Tell me you're not out in the shit tracking down that drug trafficker. Okay, okay. <laughs> I won't tell you that, but I am. <laughs> God damn it, Taylor, you're gonna get yourself killed. No, man, no, no. Hey, I followed a bunch of them up the highway. Highway 97? Hey, hey, it was, no, it was, it was daylight, the weather was clear, I didn't see a single freak. Uh, but there is this, this group of, of men ended up at the ski lodge. Did you even know there was a ski lodge out here? I didn't know that. Taylor. It's a sweet ass setup too. If I ever decide to bug out, that is where I'm going. <laughs> oh, shit, I gotta run. They're, they're stopping at another camp. Taylor, out. <laughs> Taylor. Taylor, god damn it. Stupid kid's gonna get himself killed. Would you stop doing that, please? I'm sorry? I know that things are strange, but I can't help that right now. Well, I live in a barracks with a dozen militia assholes, when my wife lives in a private tent up on an officer's ridge. Nothing strange about that. Deacon. And the only time that I see her is when I'm done running one of her errands. Nothing strange about that either, ma'am. My yeast, thank you. 
Uh, are, are you baking something? I mean, if you need an oven, I know no, where to find no, one. No, no, I'm using it to create <clears throat> viral proteins that they, they trigger these antibodies. <laughs> but of course, you are being sarcastic. Bread, viral proteins, it's all the same to me. Hey, wait a second. Here. Thank you. You already said that. I meant for stay. Yes, ma'am. Set them over there. Thank you. Corporal St. John, this is Dr. Jimenez. St. John? Hey, Doc. This is Deacon. What can I do for you? Oh, St. John, good. I need you to stop by the infirmary. Uh, is something wrong? You need something? No, no. Nothing like that. I want to check on that arm. My arm? My, my arm's fine, Doc. <laughs> A burn like that? From a wood stove? It's nothing to play around with. You want La Infección? You come see me. That's an order. All right, Doc. All right, fine. Whatever you say. St. John out. Corporal, how are you? Hello. How's it going, Sal? Same as yesterday, same as tomorrow, if I had to guess. I uh, don't think I ever asked, but how did you end up out here? No, you never asked. And I never said. Hey, sorry. No. Corporal? All right, take care. St. John, this is Captain Curry. Come in. Yeah, Captain, I'm here. Well, I just wanted to let you know that the Colonel gives an informal talk every day at dusk at the staging area where you were sworn in. Uh, yes, sir. Now, while these talks are informal, enlisted men and women are expected to attend. <clears throat> uh, copy that, sir. Curry out. Oh, great. A commander who likes to give fireside chats. Can't wait. Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> well, yeah, makes sense. I'd do that if I had enough credits, you know? Now that's a gun. Huh? Ah, okay. Let's see ya, Corporal. Hey, you sleep with that gun, am I right? Corporal. So, man, I gotta tell you something. Okay. I knew you from before. Well, not personally, you know, but I'm from Farewell. Same as you. Me and my friends, we used to watch you guys around town, the, the mongrels, I mean, riding those hogs, wearing your leathers. Man, we thought you guys were so badass. Right. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, man. I had a lot of free time on my hands. I, uh, I, um, had to drop out of high school, you know. That my girlfriend had to get a job. Hey, if you ever decide to, you know, start up an MC, mongrels, whatever, just count me in, okay? I'm down. Yeah, don't hold your breath. Sure, man. Yeah, no, just, just saying. Hey, Doc. Uh, Come in. Send us have a seat. Have a seat. Mm -hmm. oh. Let's look here. So, who did you ride with back in the day? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're uh, getting at. No me mientas. Look, Corporal. I spent 20 years in East LA patching up bandas de motoristas and every other kind of pandillero. I know the look. And this? No kind of wood stove did this. 
<laughs> All right. Keep it clean. It'll heal on its own. Leave a nasty scar. But I want you to come back and see me in a couple of days. You got it. Funny thing. When the city burned and the hordes came in, neighborhoods at war for decades all came together, fought together. Latinos, Gueros, Chinos, Bloods, Crips. Didn't matter. Crazy what it takes to bring people together sometimes, no? Thanks, Doc. Days, dozens of new recruits have joined our ranks. We welcome them. We do not care about the color of your skin. We do not care what country you were born in. We do not care if you are a man or a woman. We do not care if you are gay or lesbian or bisexual or transgender. These are things beyond your control. These are things that God has ordained and we accept them. What we do not accept are liars, thieves, rapists, murderers, fornicators, adulterers, oath breakers, drug addicts, or criminals of any kind. From this life or the one before, how you conduct yourself, how you act in the eyes of God, these are things that you do control. Any soldier or officer found guilty of any transgression, no matter how small, will be brought here to this very scaffold and will be hanged by the neck until they are dead. This punishment may seem cruel to some of you, but you have my promise. Any punishment of ours is a great mercy compared to the punishment of God that is being unleashed on the world outside these walls. None of us is perfect. We do not expect perfection. What we do expect is obedience, order, and discipline. Give us these things, and we will win this war. Company dismissed. Taylor, haven't heard from you in a while. I was afraid that maybe you'd gotten too close to that man you were tracking. Oh, I'm close, all right. I'm right in the friggin' backyard. Hey, I need your help, man. I'm, I'm at the, at a small camp south of Crater Lake, just off the South Rim Drive. Taylor, listen to me. I have no idea what you're doing, but you got... Oh, shit! No, no, no! Let me go! Hey! Taylor? Taylor? Damn it. St. John to Lieutenant Whitaker. Come back. Switching to a private channel. Hold on. Deacon, are you there? Yeah. Uh, hey, so I, I looked at that requisition form. It says that you want silicate? Yeah, silicate. I use it as a distilling medium in the column chromatographer. Oh, column chrom... what? <sighs> Sorry, it's just... it's the one part of my research that's actually going well. So, silicate, where do I get it? Oh shit, I thought I marked it on the rack. Hold on. Okay, there's this little general store southwest of us near Mazama Village. You should be able to find it there. Okay, got it. Thank you. Sorry, never mind. <clears throat> Carry on, Corporal. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Lieutenant. Sarah, out. Silicate. What the fuck is silicate anyway? Deacon. 
here. I know we have a lot to talk about. Ma'am? This is a private channel. Deke? Okay. I want you to know that I meant what I said about... about you staying and helping. I know this can't be easy for you. Being here like this. Hey, uh, where else am I gonna go? And if I leave, they're gonna make me get back this really cool hat, so I'm starting to like this hat. I mean, really. <laughs> well, look at that. <sighs> okay. Alright, I gotta get back to work. This yeast has already filled up like half a dozen petri dishes. Okay. Save me some of the viral proteins. I got an appetite out here. I'll do that. Lieutenant Whitaker out. He can hear us. Let's see if we can do something about that. I'm not telling you shit. Come on, let's do this. Shut up. Hey, ah! Ah! Can you hear me? Ah! Oh! 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 Get him the fuck out of here. Come on. What do you think? Maybe we can turn this in at that army camp and get some credits. Taylor, hang in there. You <laughs> like torture, do you? But this. friend Okay Got it. How you doing, Taylor? Um, you know, I've had better days, I'll be honest with you. Okay. Uh, Jesus. 
Okay, listen to me, pal. Take this, hold it against your head like that. Good. No, I want you to uh, wait here. I'm gonna go radio uh, Captain Curry. He's gonna send someone to pick you up, all right? All right, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Captain Corey, this is Corporal St. John. Come back. This is Corey. I'm here with Lieutenant Whitaker, checking on your progress. Corporal, I've told Captain Curry that you're an immense help. I won't do without you. Oh, well, thank you, dude. That's great. I, it's not why I'm checking in. Captain, uh, there's a marauder camp just off of South Rim Drive. Marauders? <laughs> this close to the island? Uh, no, listen, no, no. I dealt with these bastards, but we have an injured man. Private Taylor, they fucking slice his ears. Jesus, is he all right? Private Taylor? What was he doing out there? Yeah, he's gonna live. But no, no idea what he was doing out here. I need you to send docu uh, Captain Jimenez and some men to come out and get him. I'll send you the coordinates. I'll head up there now. Up. Hurry up. <sighs> Hey, Colonel. Uh, yes, sir. Hey, John. There we go. 